Hi there, Nicole Young here to show you how to turn an image into black and white and then bring color back into it to give it a hand colored look. I'm going to be using Adobe Photoshop CS4, but this also works in Photoshop CS3. The first thing I'm going to do is add a black and white adjustment layer. Now in Photoshop CS4, I can go ahead and go over to the adjustment panel and click on black and white. I can also get the same effect by going down here in the layers panel and clicking on black and white. It looks pretty good to start off, but I'm going to make a few changes. I'm going to click on the hand tool and then go into the image and click on the skin tone and drag to the right just to brighten it up a little bit. All right, that looks good. The next thing I'm going to do is add a slight tint to it. I just want to give it a little bit of a warm look. I click on the tint and then I go ahead and just pick the color I want. And that looks good. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is start bringing back some of the color. I want to bring back the color of the flowers. I think that'll make the image look really neat. Now the way I do this is by using the mask. Every time you create an adjustment layer in Photoshop, it automatically adds a mask to the image. The mask is automatically going to be white, which means that you can see the entire adjustment or whatever's in the layer, and it covers up whatever's below the layer. So this whole black and white effect is actually applied to the layer below it. To get the look that I'm going for, I actually want to create gaps or holes in the mask so I can see the, the layer below it, in this case the background layer. And the way I do that is by painting black onto the mask. So I'm going to go ahead and pick my brush tool by clicking B. I'm going to make sure that I have black as my foreground. And then I'm just going to start painting. And if you look over here on the mask, you see a little bit of black over there. Yes, I was painting black, but I was painting in the mask. I'm not painting black on the actual document, I'm just making the mask so I can see the layer below it. Now normally what I do is I normally go in and I get in at about 100%. So I'm just going to go ahead and zoom in using the command or control key with the plus key. And then I would actually continue painting from here. Now this is my completed mask where I've gone in and actually painted black over all the areas that I wanted to show through the background layer. I think it looks really good the way it is, but I'm going to show you a new feature in Photoshop CS4. When you go ahead and select the mask, you can go over to this mask panel that's right next to your adjustment layer panel, and you can actually alter the density and the feather along with some other features. What the density does is it takes all the dark areas or the black areas in the mask and it, it makes them a little less black. It turns them to white. If I was to go all the way to zero, then you can't see any of the masked areas. Now obviously I don't want that, but I do want to drop it down a little bit. Maybe in the 60, I want to make it look kind of a little bit more pastel, like it was bleached out a little bit. Another thing I want to do is I'm going to increase the feather on this. Now the feather is just basically changing the edge of the masked areas to make them a little bit more soft. So I'm going to bring it up a little bit. I don't want to bring it up too much, just a little bit. So it takes off some of the harsh edges of those masked areas. And that's it. A simple way to make hand painted images in Photoshop. To view more of my work, please visit my portfolio at iStockphoto.com slash Feel free to comment on this and other posts at twipphoto.com 